my winners what's up mambo vip you hope you're all good okay um i've got this question several times in aulizwa watu wengine wako nje ya tanzania wengine wako ndani ya tanzania lakini they are all complaining uh once umelipa matangazo au umeboost matangazo ya instagram ama facebook result inakuwa sio ile ambayo imetarajiwa sometimes unaweza kushangaa tangazo lipo tu lakini engagement inakuwa ni ndogo eh, no comments no follows eh hakuna simu zinazopigwa sababu ya kazi and so leo i'm in mosh yeah see i'm in mosh kilimanjaro and i had to record this video ili niwajibu hayo maswali yenu now number one fact ambayo inachochea matangazo kutokufanya vizuri ni muda wa kufanya tangazo lako na namna ya kulifanya what do i mean muda wa kufanya na uh, namna ya kulifanya inategemea muda gani umeposti tangazo lako kumbuka sponsored ads inafanya vizuri sana kama data zimeshakuwa collected vizuri napomaanisha data kwa collected nasema hivi ukiposti tangazo lako litafikia baadhi ya watu litafikia eh, baadhi ya, ya, ya followers wako na watu wengine Instagram ama Facebook wanatumia zile data kujua ni mtu gani mwingine anaweza kufikiwa na tangazo lako ambaye anavutiwa nalo hawawezi kumpelekea kila mtu tangazo lako wanaangalia mtu ambaye anaweza kashawishika na lile tangazo lako kulingana na ile idadi ya watu au aina ya watu ambao umeshiriki kwenye tangazo lako kwa hiyo unapopost tangazo lako na uposti post yako usipromote hapo hapo give yourself give yourself some time ili data zijikusanye mara nyingi kama unataka kupromote acha walau 72 hours ama 48 hours kama uwezi kabisa after that ukipromote kuna a bit uh, little bit changes kwenye matokeo yako tofauti na ukipromote hapo hapo right now fact number mbili inayosababisha matokeo kutokuwepo ni fact ya setup ya tangazo lako watu watu wana interest watu wana wanavutiwa watu wana dislikes watu wana likes watu wana yeses watu wana noes unapofanya tangazo ambalo haujapima audience yako haujatengeneza customer persona au kuelewa watu na watengeneza tangazo end of the day ile tangazo linaweza lisiwavutia wale watu na kuwashawishi kwa sababu halijaendana halija highlight their pain point kwa hiyo tangazo ukileka tu mradi bila kujali watu wanaoenda kuwaekea ni chanzo kikubwa sana cha kufanya tangazo lako lisifiki, lisifanye vizuri kwa sababu ashumu unafikia mtu ambaye ana issue ya jambo fulani alafu wewe huja highlight huja highlight ile tatizo vizuri umepost tu mradi umepost you see what happen ni kwamba uh, lile tangazo lako ataliona atali ignore kwa sababu halijazungumzia pain point changamoto au kitu chochote ambacho kina mtatiza so make sure tangazo lako pia lime highlight pain point za watu Namba tatu ni kwa active account na in, inactive account. Active account na inactive account. Sasa hivi uh, kama account yako iko active tangazo litafanya. Kama iko inactive, inactive maana yake tofauti inactive na disable. Inactive ni kwamba account ipo active lakini malipo hayajakamilika kwa hiyo inakuwa inactive. Mara nyingi inatokea wanakuambia insufficient fund au inakuambia labda try hold fund failed kwa hiyo haya hizi ni fact ambazo zinafanya account inakuwa inactive pia itasababisha tangazo kutokufanya vizuri na another issue ni account yako kuwa inavunja sheria mara nyingi 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 kwa hiyo inapata kitu kinaitwa shadow ban shadow ban ina athiri utendaji au engagement ya account yako na hiyo inakuwa ni chanzo kikubwa sana cha matangazo yako kufanya vizuri kwa hizi fact chache nilizozitoa just let me know kwenye comment kama ni moja ya changamoto ambayo unakumbana nayo moja ya issue ambayo makosa unayofanya alafu i'll know what to post for you next i love you for being here i love you for being my part of my family i love you for being the winner i love you for being my winner until next time peace salam kutoka moshi kilimanjaro i hope you enjoy this yeah next time